Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for this simple makeup Saturdays and a little bit of styling. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. This video is in partnership with Ana Luisa, so thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. I thought this would be a perfect pairing for simple makeup and simple styling because I think Ana Luisa does really beautiful, simple pieces that can be interchanged, they can be layered, they can elevate outfits as well. So I thought we'd do some styling from casual to more formal based on one dress. So we're gonna take a look at that at the end. But I did wanna mention these necklaces because many of you have asked me about, especially these two in particular. I've been wearing them just layered. And one of the questions was, can you adjust the length and do you wear them at the same length? So I don't know if I really even pay attention to the length, but I think they are around the same length when I wear them. This is the Ebby Slim and it has three opportunities for lengths here so you can definitely adjust it the other one it's a little bit richer in color this one also has opportunities for various lengths as well and actually a couple of you spotted some newer pieces to me these are the catherine earrings and this is a necklace which is a little bit different because right down the middle it changes the chain or the chain changes halfway down. I'll show you close-ups of everything. I do appreciate their focus on sustainability, starting from sourcing the raw materials all the way to the disposal of their pieces. Their jewelry starts at $39, so they don't have the luxury markup, but you can find some really beautiful pieces. And they are long-lasting in terms of their wear. I have worn these over and over again since I've received some of them, like this ring, like these rings, they all still look really beautiful and they do have a 365 day warranty. I do love browsing their website and finding the new items because I love their designs. And sometimes though, they're out of stock and having things that are out of stock is part actually of their sustainability. They don't want to create too much so that there is excess inventory, but just making enough. So make sure to check back often in case a piece is not available at that time. I do have a link below for you in case you'd like to use it. And they also did send me another necklace, the Una necklace. It's just a simple circle design that I think you can wear every day, but also looks really elegant if you want to dress something up. I'll also be featuring other Ana Luisa pieces that I have in the styling section. As for the makeup, I wanted to keep it simple, minimal. So I went with a brand that specializes in minimal makeup, Westman Atelier. I used, I didn't even use all of the products I have. Did I? No, I didn't use all of them. And I tried to keep to the one product per category. So I even used one product for my foundation and concealer today. And you know how much I love multiple concealers, <laughs> but there is one category where I had to try a couple out at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. Just adding a little bit of the Chantecaille mattifying cream as usual. I have a little mosquito bite here. I don't know how that happened. Although I do know that mosquitoes love to bite me. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. So since we're keeping it simple, we're gonna go in with the Westman Atelier. This is in the shade five. I'm going to use it as a concealer as well because I actually went on her website and looked at all the videos. Kind of thick though, I think for a concealer. Then I'm gonna take this brush, my sublimage brush, and apply it first to the brush. Maybe that will help. Pat McGrath Labs, I need to use this blush. I have so many new blushes I need to use. Um, so I will work those in. I still haven't actually used this. I just keep looking at it and it's so pretty. Okay, I think that is better because I went on directly and it was just too much. She did talk about using two different foundation sticks, which totally makes sense because one shade is not gonna do it for concealer and foundation for me. Okay, so let's just do that for now. Again, trying to keep it simple. I'm gonna go directly though with this stick right here where I have more discoloration. I really like the undertone of this, which is why I'm a little unsure of what to pick up for a deeper shade because they looked kind of cool. So for me, if the undertone is closer versus the shade, I'd rather go with that in terms of like cool and warm. I'm gonna to try to stick with Westman Atelier. Otherwise I would be going in with that Chanel a product, the bronzer, because that does really well in terms of bronzing out this exterior. I'm just going a little bit heavier here. I think we'll just stick with that for foundation and concealer. If I need to do an extra layer, we'll go in with something else. But for now, we're just gonna stick with that. I'm gonna go in with Truffle now, the Face Trace Contour Stick. It's definitely not like a bronzer color. It's more of a contour just because it's got that cool tone to it. 
but we're going to do that just to kind of get everything balanced here because uh, I'm just going to go on my forehead as well. Let's see what we need to do next. I'm actually going to use this. I think I'll just use this again because it'll bring a little bit of that leftover foundation. Okay, now at this point I am going to powder because the blushes for Western Atelier actually do quite well over powder. So I will be going in with my Blur Powder by Chantecaille. I think the other shade, the deeper shade is available. I haven't tried that, but I know people are using that for bronzer as well. Okay, so I think the fact that the foundation's a little light for me starts to come together once I add that deeper shade on the exterior and then powder. And then once I put blush on, it will be fine. So I'm gonna go with eyebrows. Got the Gucci, of course. I'm just going in with the Chantecaille Brow Gel and Tint in Brown. As I was finishing my brows, I just realized I said I would use other powders rather than the, other than the a different powder than the Chantecaille because I know it is almost impossible to get a hold of again. So I forgot. So I really will try to use other powders besides that, but it just does so much for me in terms of perfecting everything that I don't think of any other powder to use. I will really try to remember next time. I'm gonna go in with Chocolat. It's the brown shade of the, I think this, I can't remember the name of this one, but it has um, Neige and Tabak, which I love. I love Tabak, but I feel like it doesn't really show up. So we're going to go in with just one shade. We're gonna go in with Chocolat. So let's see. It's just an easy color to wear. I'm gonna go under as well. So what I've done is I just intensified it closer to the lash line and kind of just faded it out as I went up and then I just went under, just like this. Super simple. Maybe I'll just see how it looks with mascara and we can decide on a, an eyeliner after if we need it because I think that's a really pretty shade. I really am very tempted to put Tabak on right on the lid, but let's put mascara on and see how it looks after that and then we'll decide. Okay, now I think we'll just leave it like that. Yeah, I think that looks fine. But I really do want to put on another shade. I'm gonna stop myself. I am going to use two blushes though because I want to show you them. I don't think I've shown this layered, but I love this combination. So we're gonna go with Chouchette, which is the lighter of the two. So I'm gonna take that on my brush here. This is an hourglass brush. Just stamp that on there. I, again, have powdered, and it works well with this particular powder at least. So even though I feel like this looks really light, it has quite a bit of pigment. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite blushes. I have a lot of favorite blushes, but this is one of my favorite ones. I love the glow on it. And then I can even bring it up here, which is amazing because I can't do that with a lot of blushes if they have shimmer in them or in the case of a cream blush, sometimes it'll lift the makeup up, off. It'll lift off the makeup. This one doesn't do that. Did I conceal? I didn't really conceal. I used the foundation and I powdered and that is not moving underneath. Although I am being very careful. I'm not sweeping it all around. I'm just stippling it in. I can move this part, but I really want to be careful here. Such a pretty blush. So you really can see how beautiful that glow is on that blush and it's not sticky, but it doesn't totally dry down either. Yeah, it's just a nice, beautiful texture on the skin. Let's go in with Bichette now. I forgot too, there's, um, I wanted to use the Peau de Peche. Let's do that now. Should we do that now or after? Okay, let's do that after, sorry. Cause someone used it as a blush and I watched her video and she also placed it right here, which I thought was interesting because it says highlight, I think. So we'll place it here um, over the blush when we're done. I forgot to show you, but you'll still see the effect. So this is Bichette. So it's a deeper shade than Chouchette. So you can see the difference here. And we're just gonna do, we're gonna do a pop of color with that deeper shade. Take that on the brush again, and I'm just gonna pop it here, where I normally pop 
intense colors. And you can see the difference between this and this. You don't need two blushes, but <laughs> I really like this effect. Having some dimension with the blush. I'm gonna blend them a little bit better. Let's take now Potapesh. And this says here, again, super loaded tinted highlight, which automatically thinks, thinks? Automatically makes me think I wanna add it here. However, what is wrong with the lighting? Okay, adjust. Um, but I'm gonna add it here where she did because I thought it was such a pretty effect. I don't know how great it's gonna show up now that I have blush, but it just was a pretty warm shade. I think I might try this with another minimal look just so you can see what it looks like, but I don't know. I think it gets kind of lost here with the blush. Okay, I'll show that to you another time, but I just thought the placement of that was really interesting. And then, oh yeah, I really liked this tip. So she also went up here uh, with the product. So you can kind of see the color there. It's a beautiful, I think I might use this with, there's actually a look that I'm thinking I could use this with, uh, another simple look. But I thought it was really pretty because I wasn't quite sure how do you really maximize this? It was fun to watch all of her videos, so just to see what the creator of these products had in mind. We're gonna go in with highlighter. So I do have the original, and I have this one, which is better for me, Nectar. I'm just going to dab it on right on top. I think it's such a pretty glow. And then we're gonna add a lip. I did try to purchase the new release that she had that has the stripes. I'll put a picture here if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it was sold out. So we're gonna go in with this. I've used this before and I really like it. So this is the Squeaky Queen, Queen? Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. We're gonna go in with this. Although I have to say for a simple look, this is much easier to use and I think easier to reapply. And I'm looking under here in terms of concealer, there's just a slight bit of creasing. So I would definitely use this in a pinch. Um, it doesn't do as well as my favorite concealer, of course, um, the Sizzly, but it does okay. I would recommend applying it like I did though because I have tried it directly on there. It was just too much under the eye area. So it worked better that way. And no concealer today, right? I didn't add extra concealer. I just used the one product. So I did go in with as few products as possible using a very minimal makeup line. And to stick with the theme of minimalism, I wanted to show you how I style up a dress, especially for vacation. I love bringing a dress that will do multiple things and one that I can actually wash in the sink and dry as well because especially if it's a long vacation, you don't have access to a laundromat. I prefer to wash things by hand anyway. Um, this is something I would bring with me. I'm gonna show you how I style it up and also how I change out my jewelry. So something like Ana Luisa has a lot of options, um, takes a very little space, but also changes up the look. So let's go ahead to the styling portion. This dress is by Norma Kamali. It's easy to pack, doesn't take up too much space, is really easy to wash and dry. The shoes are just flip-flops, Javianas. I always travel with them for the pool, for inside the hotel room. The bag is a Louis Vuitton Cabas. It's old, but I'll try and find some that are pre-owned. Earrings though are poppy and the ring is Chloe. Nice and casual, great for a breakfast. And then we have a smaller Louis Vuitton bag and then I have my YSL slides. I thought a little bit more gold here with the Nikki earrings. And then no necklace, but the rope bold ring is also a pretty pairing with this. This is a great lunch outfit or just for a short walk in the city. Speaking of the city though, these Stuart Weitzman boots are so comfortable and I think they're so cute with this. So I wanted to get a couple of bold chains on there, the Signe and the Yusuf. And also the Noah ring is a nice bold ring, but you can see there the layering and how they look together. No earrings with this though, since the necklace is so bold. But I do just love these boots. I think they're so cute and super versatile. I love them with a more feminine dress as well. Then for dressing up, I have my Chanel jacket and my Chanel bag and also some Manolo Blahniks. Those are Mary Jane's, not the most comfortable. This is like from the car to the restaurant kind of outfit, but the Catherine earrings are so classic as well as just a simple Ona necklace. I love this one. 
However, I do have more comfortable outfit options. This is dressy enough. These are the Louboutins. And if you take a look at the heel height, I'll show you in a minute here, they're not that high. Actually, this is my most comfortable height. I'm not quite sure what they are, but maybe like two and a half inches. I'll have to list it below um, if I can find the shoe, but it's a beautiful nude shade. And I just have my Louis Vuitton wrap here, which is also a great travel staple. Again, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of that styling. I wanted to pick something, a dress though, that I knew that you could find because this dress I've had actually for a couple of years. So it's something you can find year after year, at least since two years ago, you can still find it, which I think is a little bit tricky with lines because sometimes they just make it that one year. But in this case, I have been able to find it year after year. And in terms of the makeup, the stick, I think, a little goes a long way with a foundation stick. And as you can see, it was too light, but again, I was able to make it work just by using truffle to even everything out. I think that's really pretty. It is a cooler shade on me though. Um, the eye I think is really pretty. Of course, they do come in the trio, so I would love to put on something like this. Actually, I'm gonna put it on now because I really wanna see what it looks like, but to balk, since I have this, let's just add a little bit on. I'm not even adding it to my whole lid. I'm just adding it from like the middle to the center. Yeah, if I had more of a minimalist kind of collection of makeup, I would definitely pick these up because again, easy to use, looks pretty every time. and You don't need a brush. I had to layer the blushes because I love them both, but I wanted to show you them together. And then the lip. I think it's just such a pretty simple shade. It just alters my lip color just slightly, um, but also evens it out, even though it's not like a really heavy duty product. I think it did a really nice job. And again, thank you, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Make sure to drop the link below in case you're interested. But that's it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.